Yale played Princeton. Jake Jerry hit four home runs. Smart kid. Here's the here's the lore behind this that I'm making up. Generally, if you're going to an Ivy League school, you can probably go to multiple Ivy League schools. And I'm imagining that he was like Princeton didn't want him. Mm. He got into all I the other the ones. Line. Catcher. A catcher. This dude caught the whole game and hit four freaking homers, including two grand slams. And guess what? He's going to have a great career. Baseball? Who knows? But he went to Yale, so good for him. Some of them go pro in things other than baseball. <laughs> uh, that was not the best uh, homering situation of the weekend. As a real human being, not a, a Martian, homered off of Ben Joyce. Now, Ben Joyce is the gentleman on Tennessee throwing 104 miles an hour. And he allowed a home run. Harder they come in, the harder they go out. And this one went quite a ways against Ole Miss's 39-year-old, eighth-year senior, Tim Elko. Now, again, they were down 10-0. Yeah. It's that... not like this swung the uh, the old win probability. But <laughs> it was a sweet home. My favorite part of it was just the fact that the Battle of the Juggernauts, it's like when Eric Gagne faced Barry Bonds, in my mind. Just two of the most impressive human beings. Two of the kings at each of their respective trades going at it. We got power on power. A ball that would have been out at Tennessee's small field by Eon. Just absolute eons. How can you even react to that? You got to just guess where the ball is going to be, right? Uh, obviously, it's the first homer allowed this year by Ben Joyce. And <laughs> quite possibly the last. Thinking of the Great SEC, dude. this was freaking bizarre. There was a moment in the Auburn Texas A&M game. It's top of the yeah. ninth. They're trying to try to stay in the game two, two outs. And he had a sort of a hit. And then they looked at the bat and they were like, just kidding. This bat is legal. You're out. The clip itself is hilarious because it's a guy getting a like a hit. Like there's no bang, bang play. Right. And they go to the review and then the umpire leaves the review and points to him and calls him out. And you're like, why? You then realize that he's holding the bat. Yeah, I just think it's very stupid because the way they test the bats, I, I don't understand the bat testing policy, but I do know when the bats are cleared and, you know, they can pass the test, they're given a little sticker. And the sticker is no, there's been a lot of debate whether or not like it's like those security tag stickers where when you take it off, it still leaves a mark. I'm here to clear that. It is about as secure as a gold star on my math test where I got a 73 in fifth grade and my teacher wanted to ensure that I wasn't the stupidest kid in the world. So she gave me a gold star. The, the stickers are not secure. They're putting them on top of like a gallon of pine tar on most bats because that's where they put them on the little extension of the handle. These stickers can fall off pretty easily, particularly if it's a bat that's been used for multiple weekends. Um, next play, this was great. Evan Stone in center field, an incredible catch. Kind of nasty. I mean, he, he basically hit his head on the wall. Basically, what happened was afterwards, the pitcher, uh, Matthew Becker, who gave up the, the hit, he ran all the way back out. I saw Matthew Becker, who was the pitcher at the time, run all the way out to center field to check on him. Like, you had the trainer out there, a coach out there. The left and right fielder were out there, and Matthew Becker. And I was like, wait a minute, isn't that the dude who's who was just pitched? But I love seeing a pitcher who will go out and check on his guys, show that they actually care. Not just uh, not just both freshmen, they're roommates. It looks like Matthew Becker responded to your tweets they saying were, this is roommate. They were roommates. And they were roommates. So. They were roommates. <laughs> Hilarious. A uh, couple more quick ones. Shock, you just mentioned you're a pitcher because you can't field balls. Let's talk about what happened in Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame oh, to no. Virginia Tech. Uh, I don't even know who this pitch, what this pitcher's name is, and that's fine. We don't need to bring him into this. But basically, it's a bases loaded bunt. We're already down left-handed pitcher. Fields it in front of the mound. Shocked. How much time did he have exactly to, to throw the ball to first base? Um, He could have eaten the Arby's beef and cheddar, diarrheaed it out, and the guy still would have been running to first wiped. base. Wiped. And wiped, wiped. yes. But instead, as many pitchers in college baseball do You've every weekend, there. at every level, he just sorted into right field. Oof, Toss just, that baby off just the foul pole. Just it down the line. Give that right field some running to do. It, I love this. <laughs> Here's what I love about this particular one. is Often you'll see a pitcher field a bunt or a chopper or a dribbler oh, or a, a number. And they'll look rushed. And you'll see from the get-go that there's no way they're making the play, right? This guy did not <laughs> look rushed. He feels the ball steady. He sets his feet. He pivots nice and controlled. And then the ball just scrapes off the moon. The other thing about this, on this play, I need the right fielder booking it as soon as the ball is bunted. Because that could be the difference between, you know, two or three runs scoring. As a pitcher, I'm always holding my breath whenever I see a PFP field it. Because I know that if a PFP is botched during the weekend, it is 100% all we're doing for the midweek practice. <laughs> they were already losing, I'm pretty sure. So this didn't cost them the game necessarily. The game was cost way earlier. 
but it did cost every pitcher at least 10 reps of PFPs. I feel for Notre Dame knowing that tomorrow's their off day. Tuesday, they might have a midweek, but Wednesday? Wednesday is PFP Absolute Festival.